Hey guys, it's Full Cards here, live and direct from Brooklyn, New York, and today I'm going to open up a box of the MVP Hobby from 2018-19, the first release of the season. Uh, people are psyched about it. Low end, kind of cardboardy, puzzle back pieces. Uh, what would we be looking for? We would be looking for 10 high series base short prints, uh, five to six puzzle back parallels, the silver scripts. There are four of the 20th anniversary tribute inserts. Um, I know that the tribute would be from 1998 to 99 season. Uh, and uh, some buybacks and stuff like that. And there are three NHL player credential inserts, which are sort of those ID cards. Uh, with regard to our rookie class, um, sort of a middling rookie class, uh, people would be looking for Casey Middlestat, uh, Leas Anderson, the, the cat who threw his medal into the stands, um, Noah Juleson if you're a Habs fan, Ryan Donato you might know sort of lit it up in his first couple of days with the uh, Boston Bruins. A lot of NCAA players, um, some mid-level, mid-round players. Uh, three separate Maple Leaf players, including McDermott. So that's sort of, those would be the cats that we would be uh, confabbing about. Let's see if I can get this sealage off uh, to unseal the deal. And here we is in sunny Brooklyn. Uh, kind of cool. So this is what they look like, blue with the stammer. And we have, I guess, uh, a little bit about our rookie standouts here right at the top. You see uh, Tolvanen, uh, who was a late first round pick, I believe, from the Preds. Uh, you see Troy Terry, um, Ethan Bear, who was on our Canadian team, uh, Casey Middlestat, etc., etc. Um, and I guess they're flossing about OPG, which will be released September 19th, I believe. And here we go. Um, eight cards per pack, 20 packs per. Uh, super sunny here. Uh, I love the, the color. It's sort of a powder blue look. Uh, and the geometry is a bit different than usual. I think last year they had sort of um, a stripes across. This time they have some a little bit of a left band. Uh, hopefully you can see this given, given the sunniness of it. But there's Ricky Nash. Uh, and there's the back, which is your standard MVP fare. Uh, so there's... So here we go, uh, cracking through these bad boys. These look to be mostly base, uh, all base as far as I can see. This would be a puzzle back uh, because it has the NHL nomenclature on the front and uh, it might be Stamkos, it would be, or Sergeyev, it seems to be a bolt. Um, so that would be our first puzzle piece. I'm not gonna set those aside. Uh, you know that there are loads of puzzle pieces here. Uh, which would be fun if you could collect all of them. I don't know anybody who's ever done that, uh, but it is a yearly affair with their puzzle pieces. Uh, what else have we got? So this, I believe, is our first sort of generic silver script of which we get maybe six of these in the box. You tell me, I can't recall, I just said that. Uh, and it would be Seth Jones, uh, previously of your Predators, uh, and now still with the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets. So if they are rookies, so that's a nice one of um, Jake Allen. If there are rookies, they probably would sort of be uh, labeled as such on the left-hand side. Not bad. There's, there's the Plax with his, his five minutes with the uh, Toronto. He actually played pretty well in the playoffs, believe it or not. He was certainly part of the shutdown line when it came to uh, dealing with the Boston's best line. And here we have an MVP. Uh, and this is kind of cool. This is sort of a nice look, isn't it? And we, it is basically, um, I guess this would be the anniversary silver script, and it's of Galchenyuk prior to his trade. That's the other thing, too. It's because it's the first issue of the season, you get uh, players in their old uniforms. You don't have the updates until they're released. They used to be released, the updates within... Upper Deck Series 2, I don't know if they still do that, they usually only do the OPG updates now probably within Series 2, but uh, yeah. So you'll have cats in their old uniforms, unfortunately or fortunately. And here is another uh, silver script, and it would be Danton Heinen, who's, uh, who did really well in his first year with uh, the Bruins, first full year with the Bruins. I thought so, I had him in my pool occasionally as a pickup to beef up, depending on how many games I had. Uh, so we'd also be looking for the credentials. 
um, and we're looking for our rookie class, our new and exciting rookie class. There's the patch, Vasilevsky, who had an amazing year. There, this is another puzzle back, and the puzzle back would be probably of Johnny T, most likely. Uh, probably, I might have missed a puzzle back. Have I missed one already? Always curious whether I missed things. Maybe not so much. Uh, continuing on, this is our first rookie, rookie, and we have Zach Aston Reese. So that's kind of nice, who would be a uh, sign for 925, mostly in NCAA. So he's another cat who's in the NCAA. Actually, in his first 16 games with the Pens, he put up six points, got four goals, and they played him in the playoffs. So, uh, so far, so good for Zach Aston Reese. So that would be the first rookie. Some of these packs are shred. Continuing on, there's Connor Brown. And here we have Ryan Nugent Hopkins. And this would be a another one of the silver scripts. Uh, he was injured for a time, I believe, last year, but he actually had a really decent year. Both, both on the offensive and defensive end for a team that was struggling defensively, I thought. Uh, we do have our first player credentials as far as I can tell. Uh, so let's see who we got. And it would be Vincent Trocek. So this would just be a level one uh, credential. I don't know. These, these are sort of cool, but I'd like to get one of the autos, which would be really upping the ante. There's P.K. Subanichev from the USSR. Continuing on, we definitely have something up in it. Let's see what this insert is. And it is another one of these retro silver script actions. Uh, and it would happen to be our man, Brent Burns. Very cool. I really kind of like, I like those. Those are really nice. So that's a really nice insert. Oh, there's a rookie. I almost missed uh, Michael Del Cole. And he too had, he did play a couple of games last year. Believe it or not. That would be Jonathan Drouin. And here we have another one of these uh, silver scripts. And it's a rookie silver script of Dylan Hetherington. Oh, that's nice. Got into a game last year as well. Let's just see, uh, Dylan Hetherington. Nice to get a rookie one for a change. And so the Dylan Hetherington so of course he plays D. He was he was drafted in the second round, 50th overall. And he basically he actually played half decently with the Texas Stars, which would be their affiliate team, their AHL affiliate team. So it's nice to get a rookie silver script. Oh, we have another credential here up in it. And this one would be of Connor McDavid. Huh, I never got a rookie credential of Connor. And it's a VIP access. So it's a VIP one. So this, I guess, is one of their higher level ones, a VIP access. I don't know if that's considered a parallel of this or, or whatnot, but it's actually a nice one to get, obviously. And then we have uh, Oscar Lindblom. They sort of Lindblom. It's funny how they sort of try to help you with the uh, pronunciation which is actually pretty good to do early in the uh, hockey card season to get all your pronunciations down properly. Continuing on, there's Pierre-Luc Dubois, second year card of that cat. Another one of these bad boys is Chris Kreider, who all Montreal Canadiens fans loathe with a passion. Loads of silver scripts thus far. Uh, probably missing some puzzle pieces as I try to hammer through this and 
some form of expedited manner. Uh, continuing on, and woo, look at this bad boy here. Oh, so this is Zach Aston Reese. This is actually an MVP rookie card, I believe. Wow, that's very nice. So this would be an MVP retro rookie card because I guess a parallel, if you if you like, uh, as far as I can tell. So there's some goodies in here. I, I feel like you know the thing with MVP is so these the price of this box was about forty 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 two dollars, which really isn't bad on any level when you consider it. Uh, there's Brandon Gallagher, and here this would be an NHL play, entry level access of Michael Del Cole. So this would, I mean, this so Islanders forward this particular box thus far, uh, but you can see that the player credentials for the rookie cards sort of go in the other direction. So that's a little bit slightly different. And we did get Justin Hall, or I guess the pronunciation would be Hall. Um, and so we did get one of the rookie. Uh, uh, cards of, of the Leafs, which is which is really nice. Uh, hoping to get McDermott, him, and and Janssen, or whatever his name is. Those would be the cats you'd be looking for. As a Habs fan, of course, I would be looking for uh, someone by the name of Noel Juleson, uh, who hasn't done all that much yet, but he's sort of highly touted, uh, and decent things are expected of him, but it's, you know... And the Habs do have holes on the blue line, so we really need him to be up in the show as soon as possible. So here we have a Jonathan Ibeldo, and it would be a puzzle piece again. Uh, and that looks like, looks to be a Ranger. Uh, and it, it would be quite difficult to guess who it might be with just a piece of the elbow. Man, some of these packs are shreddifying like a box of shreddies. And here is another puzzle back um, of Jordan Eberle, and I think this one is pretty clear who it is. All right, what I really like to get is one of those level accesses with an auto, but I, I don't know what the likelihood of uh, that happenstance is. Oh, look at this. This looks to be a Colors and Contours, is it not? Wow, that's cool. It's numbered. So we have a Colors and Contours here, numbered to 199, uh, and it appears to be Corey Perry, who I, I love. I'm a big fan of Corey Perry. In fact, I'm a big fan of the Ducks. I just like, I love watching Getz, Laugh, and Perry cycle, just like they did in the Olympics to preserve the win, to preserve the gold medal, really. And this would happen to be another, so this is Carl Haglin. This would happen to be another one of the silver scripts. I think we've pretty much gotten all of our silver scripts. So we've got one numbered card thus far, and we did get a uh, player credentials VIP access. I'm going to see if I can, uh, if I can pop a look at um, VIP access. If I can pop a look at whether that is. VIP accesses are one, one every 67 hobby boxes. Uh, not hobby boxes, uh, hobby packs. So they're a bit rare, I guess. And it's nice to get the McD. That's probably the nicest one to get if you're going to get those, uh, if you're collecting those particular sets or subsets, if you will. Another puzzle piece. Uh, and this would be Johnny uh, Hockey, as you can tell. So I think we're guessing fairly easily our, our puzzle backs, which is uh, a little bit of a game show. Gong show, game show. Continuing on, here's Mitch Marner. Another puzzle back, can we guess who it is? Uh, probably another one of, of Johnny T. Well, you tell me. I think, are they, do they look exactly the same as the actual? Yeah, it's ex so there you go. If you're, one, if you're wanting to guess what the photo looks like, that's the trick. I've, identified and stumbled upon the trick. Uh, last couple of packs, man. Uh, cool, so we got, oh, cool. So is this one of these buybacks? So this is Chris Chelios, who obviously is retired. So this is an old school one, and it is numbered. So this is one of those buybacks. That's cool to get a Chris Chelios, of all things, as a Habs fan. 
no Noel Jolson, but I did get it. So this is a second number card. As you can tell, it's number 17 of 20. There's only 20 of those bad boys, and it's, I don't, is it a manufactured buyback or an actual buyback? Uh, and then we have Lar Le Leah Sanderson. So this is the kid, this is the kid who's so disappointed that they lost what was the gold medal game that they, he whipped his medal into the, into the crowd. Um, which to me, you know what that shows? It shows a level of compete. Of course, it's, you should never do that, and you know there's this whole etiquette around shaking hands and all the all the good stuff that makes our game so great. Um, and I swear by all that stuff. You know, like uh, Lucic refused to shake Emlyn's hand or PK Subban's hand, I believe, which I thought that is just so uncool. I don't even know where to begin. Um, so you shouldn't shove that middle, but but at least it says that this kid's going to play some hockey. Oh, cool, we got Casey Middlestat after all of that. So, and then this another one of these bad boys, which is one of the uh, Silver Script um, um, retro editions, I guess. And then we did get the Casey Middlestat, so that's nice. So we actually got someone worthwhile. We did get a Leaf as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I missed anybody, but that's basically it. Uh, cool, so this is really sort of fun. Always a fun break. As I said, they cost about 40 American. Um, which is an amazing entry uh, price for a, for a new product. Um, I'll do a quick recap all of a sudden, just so you guys are all squared away. Um, and let's just see, what are these? These are just nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick recap if I, if I can. Uh, super sunny here, man, I think I'm melting. It's gonna be a liquid version of Fulton cards. Okay, guys, so. This is all actually pretty interesting stuff as far as I'm concerned. So uh, as far as I could tell, this would be our two stacks of base cards. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. I, by the way, there are some playoff uh, uh, parallels or playoff versions, a subset, where on the side of the cards it will say playoffs. And the only teams, I believe, participating in that particular uh, thingy would be... Uh, obviously, the two teams in the, in the finals, in other words, uh, it would be uh, the Vegas uh, and, and OV's team, uh, better known as your Washington Capitals. Uh, so, so that's one stack. Another stack of the of the base here. Just going through it really quickly in case I missed anything. I might have. That's fine. So two uh, gargantuan stacks towards your base set. Um, then, in terms of MVP sort of retro uh, looks, I got these guys here. So here I got a Brent Burns, I got this Galchenyuk, uh, I have this, you can barely read it, but isn't, isn't that Tarasenko? And I have this Aston Reese, which I believe is a rookie card parallel, which is kind of a cool for school type thing, it's yellow. Uh, and these are all considered uh, retro silver scripts from the 1998-99 season. Uh, what else did I get? I got your generic silver scripts, which are sort of a par for the course here. So Haglin, Kreider. I did get a rookie one of Dylan uh, Hetherington. So you do get rookie silver scripts, uh, just like I got a, one of the retro silver scripts. So I did get to get the Nuge, uh, Heinen, who I, I like, and Seth Jones, of course, who was uh, solid as a rock. Uh, what else did I get? Um, I got these access credentials, so level one. I got a level one access credential of Vincent, Vincent Trocek. I got this one here of um, your, well, I'm, I live a block away from the rink here, of Michael Del Cole, who would be um, a rookie for the Islanders. And I did get a VIP pass. So I've never gotten a VIP pass, and I got the Connor McDavid, so that's actually probably worth a little something something. Uh, what else did I get? In terms of the rookie class of just generic rookies, uh, I can go through them. I did get the Justin Hall uh, one, who is one of the new Leaf prospects, as well as Lindblom. I got Michael DeCole, another one of his. I did get Zach Aston Reese, who showed flashes last year. I got Lar uh, Elias Anderson, the cat who threw the medal, and I did get Casey Middlestat. So I did get the Casey Middlestat which is uh, kind of nice. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six uh, rookies. Also, I got one of these bad boys here, which is the Colors and Contours, which everybody loves, a 156 of 199, and it would be of Corey Perry. Uh, 
pretty cool. I believe they're parallels of these bad boys that are purple, unless I'm mistaken. And then finally, uh, I guess sort of the hit of the box, if you will, one of the hits of the box, it would be a retro uh, buyback, number 17 of 20, 1998-1999 uh, of our man Chris Chelios. Uh, previously, if I can find some focus here, boom. Previously of your Montreal Canadiens uh, and a Stanley Cup winner. So I happen to be a cat named Fulton Carr's Lavender Ref from a place called Brooklyn, New York.